Hey everyone, uh, I know I said that I wouldn't be making, or probably wouldn't be making a video about my um, 6.5 or 93 6.5 uh, diesel K2500. Uh, first off, I gotta apologize for how I'm dressed. I just finished doing a little work on it. Um, it was a lot more involved than I had planned on it to be. Um, which is why I'm making a video about it. Um, hopefully it can help somebody else out. Um, so what I was doing was the oil cooler lines. They were leaking at the block. Um, and if you're familiar with these, it's just kind of a, um, like an E-clip, uh, aluminum line that snaps into a fitting on, uh, screwed into the side of the block. That's where it was leaking. Um, I don't think there's any O-rings on there, or any that, none that I could see. Maybe that's why it was leaking. But I bought the Dorman replacement lines, and they were leaking as well. So I said, screw it. Uh, went online and started Googling around a little bit. Went with some AN fittings. Um, uh, let's see. Sorry, I've got all kinds of stuff strewn all over my workbench here. Um, but basically... AN fittings, um, so it's just a straight, let's see if it'll get it to focus on the fitting and not my face, but, uh, basically this part threads in the block, this part threads into the AN fittings. Um, I'll have a link below for what I used. I actually ordered a bunch more, uh, than I needed. These are actually straight. The ones I used are 90s, but the, you know, the threading is all the same. Um, and again, um, I bought some 90s. I ended up using 45, so again, I'll have all the part numbers. I bought everything on Amazon. Um, I went with some braided line and some uh, some heat uh, resistant tubing. I think this is good up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which I slipped over the tubing where it goes around are pretty close to the exhaust. Uh, this is the the stain, the braided that I used. Uh, it's got like a, I think it's a Kevlar braiding on the outside, and then there's some stainless braiding, and then obviously the rubber hose on the inside. I ended up buying two rolls uh, each at 10 feet long. Um, uh, it looked like I used maybe six feet of each. Um, Let's get up under there and hopefully I can show you what I did. Let me get a, a flashlight and my creeper. Yeah. Never know if my flashlights are going to work or not. Okay, flip down my thing so I can see what I'm looking at here. All right, you can see the, oh also, I'll, sh I'll tell you about that in here in a minute, the oil filter. Um, but you can see right here where it's threaded into the block, uh, maybe right here and up there. You see the two lines, the, the kind of a heat resistant part covers a lot of it. I uh, actually pushed it down to cover as much of, of, of the fittings as I can. Let me see if I can pull some of this back and show you. I just drop my flashlight. There's not a whole lot of room. I got it up on jack. There you go. On ramps here. But you can kind of see. Um, Hopefully if it thing just has to focus, it's focused on everything else. Okay, so there you go. So I've got the 90s threaded into the block. And then the 45s. So both both of which of the 90s are towards the front of the engine. Um, actually more towards, uh, this is a four-wheel drive, so it's aimed more at the front uh, differential, not... So it's not, it's kind of down and towards the front, not directly straight 
towards the front. But like I said, here's the 45, which you know is angled up and around the exhaust manifold on the driver's side. Okay, so let me just push this heat resistant stuff back down. You can see I ran it up there. As far as the uh, oil filter, uh, if you're familiar with the four wheel drive, the oil filter actually sits horizontal. On the two wheel drive, it sits vertical like this one. I took the adapter off and run a smaller, a shorter filter. This is a Wix 57099. Um, and you can see it will definitely clear the front drive shaft. So there's no need to run that adapter unless you, know, you want to be mad at yourself every time that you change your oil. Okay. So again, you can see right here, ran the two hoses up through the factory little holder back down by the power steering and right here what I did was I used the you can use the factory ones or use Dormans like I said I bought these Dormans that are thrown the factory ones in the trash but you can see that I just took a cutoff wheel cut the hydraulic compression actually cut it here um, you don't want to go all the way down into this piece here because this is part of this um, where this gets clamped it fits into a groove so I cut it here and then I, on the, the other side so basically 90 degrees around split it in two and then took a screwdriver and pried it open and then you can see I just took the, the hose stuck it on there because there's barb fittings here on the on these pieces where the hydraulic line is um, crimped on but that's it um, like I said hopefully this can help somebody else uh, to kind of relieve some headache if they're doing these lines made a huge mess I had to clean this all up but uh, just be prepared for a huge mess a ton of oil that's gonna come out um, I had a pan but you can see that it obviously didn't work as well as I thought because it was you know running down here running out the front and just making a mess everywhere so anyway um, so that's it uh, like I said hopefully this helps somebody else out and um, feel free to like share subscribe down below and like I said I'll have the links in the description below as well to the parts that are used thanks again Take care.